Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Persis Plays RimWorld. As always, there's a link in the video description to the playlist, so you can skip around, watch them in a row if you want to. So, we're picking up right where we left off, right after that little raid, and everyone's getting healed up. Bambi's got her new leg, look at her zipping around, and we've planned our ship, and we just need to basically gather enough resources to build the stuff. It's uh, some uranium, a bunch of components, and a bunch of steel. So, we're kind of getting there ever so slowly, little by little. Um, so I'm going to set that to go and I just kind of wanted to get an intro on the books so that we can, uh, I can, I can cut away and we can, you know, I, it's not too interesting just watching the pawns, or at least I don't think so, watching the pawns run around and, you know, smelt things, we've got a caravan request, whatever. Um, so I'm going to kind of skip ahead and then hopefully we'll get a lot of this stuff built up and finish off and we should be close to launching, I think, soon. So uh, let's see where it takes us. Well, we got some uh, traders in. I placed the order for a bunch of excited good traders. I think I did that on, on video. Uh, what we're doing here, we got um, another bionic eye and Mitch has been missing his right eye this whole time. And we want to thank him for all of his service. Bionic eye. Oops, is this a right eye? Right eye, right eye, okay. We want to thank him for all his service and cleaning, but first, Mitch, you know what time it is. It's cleaning time. Oh man, why, why are you going to make me clean? I'm going to clean this stupid place again. Oh. But, here you go. It's about that time. You're going to be seeing like an eagle, Mitch. You're going to be able to see the dirt from like yards and millions of miles away. That's what you know, and you're going to be better at shooting. But it's all about seeing the dirt, Mitch. Because that's that's what you are. You're a janitor. No matter how much you try to get away from it, I promise you we take you off cleaning. And boom, Mitch has his bionic eye. Great. I promise you we take... Excuse me. We take you off cleaning. And I did. But you'll always be a cleaner in our hearts and in our minds. So, uh, everything's coming along. We've got this planned out, ready to go. Uh, sooner or later, geez, look at how slow everything's moving. Uh, we need some steel, plasteel components. Actually, we don't have enough plasteel, uh, to do this. Um, but I think, oh, let me pause it, geez, it's frame rate. Um, yeah, there's still plasteel left over there. So, it's just a matter of time until we get all this stuff together. Uh, Mitch is going to get up. All these, once these vendors get out of here, it'll be real nice. And there's some more of them over here. They're just hanging out. Uh, rocking and rolling. We've got a minor break risk. It's Hippo, because he's sitting there eating food. Now he's going for a walk. That's good. Arthur, you're the new Mitch. Why is this, like, such a mess? Probably because I had you do some hunting or something that's higher priority, but it's not my fault. Clearly, Arthur, it's your fault. Uh, it's not me. It's you. So, uh, everything's cracking along, and actually, for a rainforest, I'm looking at 61 degrees outside. Huh. Has the, like, temperature changed? Like, the trees aren't as encroaching as hard? Man. I'll tell you what, though. Oh, oh. What? Okay, something happened. There's a fire here. I think what happened was somebody lost Noah, which is one of their dogs, got bit by a cobra, and they shot... <laughs> some kind of like Molotov cocktail or something at it which started the fire and that caused us to lose one faction point because they lost a dog in the process hey man when you come and you step to the rainforest you got to get ready to get bit by the cobra uh, our food situation's good we're not doing so good on animals so we probably put in an order for some hunting uh, there we go one of your favorites Gasaraway lynx that's one of the lynxes of a runt that's fine. What's this one sandbag sitting here? Get that out of here. Uh, we've got boomalopes, but there's no rain, so we're not going to mess with it. Hunt that. We can unforbid this. And now that we got it set, so uh, it'll put the rotten animals in that other area in the vanilla ice mines. Uh, the we can just un you know. Like, if we see a dead animal, we don't even have to check it. We just unforbid it, and they'll put it in whichever... Just like this here. What You know, whatever. We'll just we'll just get them moving it, and we'll haul some of this crap, too, while we're at it. Just like that. Um, and it'll get hauled to the this area where it'll just rot away to nothing uh, before you know it. And let's see what else we got here. Hunt this. 
And Kim is working away, getting some steel. Let me just set this to mine as well. Where are you going, Kim? Where are you going? You're just walking away from a job. You're not, not completing it. And let's check our on our animals. We don't want you following us into battle. Capybara. Um, well, you're not a baby. Uh, anything else on babies? Nope. Looks like that's all about right. I wonder if a capybara can be trained to haul. We'll have to see uh, once it gets going. So, uh, let's do another cutaway. Uh, try to get our materials together, or maybe by the time I come back, we might even be ready on this ship. I don't know. It seems, you know, like we're just looking for components. Did get a bunch of components from these uh, vendors, but... We'll just have Pisa make them because he's such a pro at making components. So, in any case, I'll catch you guys in a few. Oh, well, we got another psychic ship on our hands, so let's get the uh, the whole crew out here. I'm gonna leave those fires burning, so hopefully they'll uh, burn the psychic ship down a little bit. All right, crew is in place. Gonna move. Do the whole thing where we surround it once again. Nice like this. Looking good. Let's do it. Great. Oh, Kim's on a fire starting spree again. Hippo, you're gonna die if you don't. Oh, man. All right, let's go, come on. Shoot the centipede. Anybody that isn't shooting, put the fires out quickly. Kim's put, starting as many new fires as we're putting out. Not the best. These things. Let's get Bambi up close. Let's get Arthur up close. And you two shoot at this one. Kanuki and Hippo. <laughs> oh god, it's such a huge fire. Alright, good. You guys, sort yourselves out. See if we can get this fire taken care of. Is Kim still starting fires? No, she isn't. Okay, good. Whew. The fire situation in the rainforest once again strikes with the badness. And we've got a couple people majorly ready to break, probably because they're starving to death. What's his needs? Kanuki. Yeah, he needs rest, he needs food. His mood is shit. Let's see. Uh, let's find the old. You know what you need. Elephant is hauling these dead centipedes in here. He's going to have a puff. So he's done with that. He's going to have a simple meal. And then he's going to go to bed, I think. Hopefully. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll try to put out the fire and just fall asleep on his feet. Oh my god, look at this. Come on, get it out. Get it out. Stomp out the pain. And... Kaneki fell. <laughs> He's just falling asleep outside. Okay, that's fine. He'll wake up after a certain point. Great. Alright, so that's one trouble down. Hopefully all these people will... Okay, yeah, I know it was a psychic ship. Uh, all these people will start to eat and stuff like that. <clears throat> Go to sleep so they won't get close to breaking. Uh, looks like Madden is disassembling the centipedes, which means more components for us, more plasteel. Uh, let's see how we're doing over here. Uh, I made a little area here um, to stockpile the steel in because it takes so long for people to run back and forth and uh, make the ship parts when they need steel. So everyone's going to go to sleep. <laughs> so many people are, are damn near breaking. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. Everyone's getting better. Slowly, but surely. Anna, 
and Madden, who both had a nice sleep uh, during that whole thing because they refused to use guns, are loving life, just moving things around. What's Madden doing here? Making Panoxicillin. Okay, fair enough. I guess Madden's getting a little better at uh, crafting things, huh? Where's Madden? Five, eh, only five out of 20. But she's getting there. She, he, yeah, teenage female. Okay, she. And we're slowly building back up all of our stockpiles of uh, sleep blocks and all that stuff. Getting it going. Just like that. Oh boy. We're coming close, guys. I, I do think this is the video, unless something crazy happens, I think I think this is the one. This is gonna be the end. We're gonna, we're gonna finish our ship up, because you see, we've got, uh, we just need steel in there, and some components, steel components, steel components. I got this set up to start too, while we're at it, but actually I probably, eh, well, yeah, we'll do it. What's Pearson doing there, just like walking laps? I don't know. All right, so, whew, take a breath. Okay, how are we doing on our animals? Looks like capybaras are not capable of learning how to um, haul. So, no good on that. That's unfortunate. Uh, all these guys unbabified. Yep, it's just those guys. All right, cool. Very good. We got ourselves some kibble. We got everything sorted out. So, uh, it's looking good. We're, 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 mm, we're pretty solid. Let's see. Hmm, Kanuki. There's a bunch of steel here. You should be able to start working on the crypto seed caskets. Maybe bang out some of these things once and for all. Yeah, see how quick he, he gets the stuff done? What is he going for now? Oh, he's getting the components, because we need 10 components. And we have well, we have 23, so we're on our way. Those components, I think, came from the uh, psychic ship nonsense we just had to deal with. And is there any other crap left over there? Nah, just a bunch of uh, slag. And so, so much for putting all the steel right here real close, because now he's got to run all the way to the other side of the world to get components, but that's okay. And now Pisa has to come all the way to here in order to get uh, things to make new components. So, it is what it is. We're getting there ever so slowly, but Kniki is making our ship Crypto Sleep Casket. And I realized I haven't even used uh, the Crypto Sleep Caskets at all. Uh, because I'm always like kind of critical on uh, people. Like sometimes if I had a guy that we recruited that didn't have the uh, the best skills, like all he did was hunt, like kind of like Beryl. If I had Beryl and he had gotten recruited, I probably would have plopped him in a crypto sleep casket. In the meantime, maybe we could throw our prisoners in crypto sleep caskets just because you know they they never join. They just they just don't. I mean, it is what it is. But. Anna's getting some practice with social work by getting, look, she's her up to 14. She's a strong master at social by just talking to the prisoners over and over and over again and getting rebuffed over and over and over again. And now we're back to making medicine. Uh, everything's looking good. It's cracking along. We're just, uh... okay, Kaniki. Can you make another one of these? Any of this have components in it already? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put you on. Need materials. Hmm. Oh, this isn't good. We don't want a boomalope inside here. Get out of here, guys. This is not this is not your home. Please. Don't hang out here. This is oh, man. And the thing about the uh, ship is that you have to um, you have to put it outside, which is why I couldn't put a door on here. It has to has to be outdoors. You can't put it over uh, under a roof. Uh, or anywhere indoors, technically. Uh, if you look, like, if I go here, ship, uh, structural beam. Like, if I tried to make it in here. No? Well, maybe it'll let me. I know you have to be outdoors in order to launch or something. So, the game just wants to embarrass me. Buck is being attacked by a panther. Oh, my God. Who's close by? Peas in Kanuki. Get out here. I hate that they had that stun thing, just so that our animals are unable to fight back when fighting panthers shoot it. 
Now, you shot your own dog. You bozos. <laughs> I like the panther noise. Ah, great. All right, good. Let's get that sorted. Pizza rescue buck. Oh, Hector's already on it. Great. You guys can go about your business. Do whatever you do. Uh, let's see. Got, I also told us to put corpses in here, and one of the one of the sh people from uh, that were trading, they just died. I don't know if they got bit by a cobra or they had a fight with each other. They just died. So uh, we got one dead and Embargo of the Cliff guy just rotting away over there. Uh, Hector, well, Hector was supposed to come save him, but I guess he's just going to go and help him out. Blood loss severe. Oh, no. I think, I think this dog is going to die. I think Buck is not long for this world. Buck is a female Labrador Retriever, even though that's a male name. Going for the female, that's a female Buck. Maybe I'll get a dog one day that's a girl and name it Buck. That seems reasonable. Oh, just barely leaking through. Looks like Hector might, might get Buck sorted out. He's going to have to make another lap to get some more medicine for him. Oh, I think we've gotten over the... Still got extreme blood loss, but I think we've gotten over the hump. Look at this. Hector, you're ama you're amazing. I can't believe it. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a cutaway now. We're 17 minutes in. Um, I'm going to do a cutaway. I'm basically going to cut back, uh, barring anything crazy, I'm going to cut back uh, right when the ship is done. So I'll uh, see you guys in a few. Well, it's a good thing we made an extra crypto sleep casket because we got a new recruit once and for all, and Anna did such a good job of recruiting her, that recruiting him, that uh, as soon as he joined, he uh, became a lover with Anna. So Anna and and the new recruit Phil are here, ready to go. And of course, Phil, you are a firefighter. Uh, let's see what else. You're okay at doctoring, handling, blah, blah, cooking. But actually, we're probably better off just. Where are you at, Phil? There you go. Just taking a look here. We gotta get you a gun. We gotta put you on hunting. You're okay. We'll we'll get you on crafting. You're gonna be one of the crafting guys as well. Sounds good. Sounds good. Two, 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 and get you a gun. Put you on hunt, just like that. And Phil, where's a good gun for for Phil? We're gonna put chain shotgun, the good LMG. Oh, he's a brawler, another brawler. Okay, fine. Here, you know what you can have? You can have a piece of wood if you're such a damn brawler. You and Anna both, you have the same last name now and it's N. Because you can't use guns. All right, Phil, fight back and take panoxicillin and we'll take you off hunting because you're a bozo and you refuse to use guns. So you get a log you can clonk people with. Uh, and Anna is all mad. She's binging on smoke leaf. I don't know why. She's got a new love in her life. It's Phil. And Astro's being attacked by a cobra. Well, Astro went down. I don't know what he was doing out there. Is this a new animal? Yeah, it's a new animal. I hadn't put him on yet. That's why, that's why. All right, let's get somebody out here. Who wants to be the guy? Hector, you haven't had a chance to shoot recently. Get out here and wreck this cobra. As soon as you get out here, sooner or later. All right, Mitch. Mitch is tending to the puppy. Puppy's probably gonna die, but that's okay. Uh, Cause we're not long for this world. forbidden for some reason okay then we'll get another cobra into the food machine that is township by the crag so let's see how we're doing Pearson is working on one of the very last uh, oh, still need steel still need components uh, what's this one need just eight components and a bunch of steel all right so steel four 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 can we do it we get Kanuki on it? Let's get him moving on that. It looks like Astro got better. That's nice. Oh, we have a combat supplier. It's a trade ship. All right, Anna. Oh, Anna, you're not so good. Uh, Pearson. 
Call the combat supplier. You're too busy smoking the ganj. Poor health. What? Pearson's fine. Pearson's fine. All right. So what do we got? We got a couple crappy guns we can sell, including a short bow that that shaman guy uh, dropped. Uh, pump shotgun. Yeah, get rid of that. We got an LMG chain shotgun. We don't need that particularly. Molotov cocktails. Get those out of here. Uh, steel simple helmet. Yeah, that thing's almost burned. All right, let's get rid of all that stuff. We can get rid of some smoke leaf. Do uh, 20 of those. Keep 10 on hand so that whenever Anna wants to have herself a little smoke leaf binge, she can do so and we'll grab... You know what? We're coming towards the end here, guys. It's time to use up the silver. We'll buy the expensive components just because. Let's do it. All right. Job done. Deal sealed. Let's see. Kanuki, are you working? You're hauling the components. Making the Crypto Sleep Caskets. We need two more. Just two more. And we'll be ready to roll. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Lucky number 13. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nice. All right. Kaniki is making the second to last, the penultimate uh, Crypto Sleep Casket right now. And nice. And let's see if uh, we need materials for this. So we have the uranium. We have the two component. No, we only have one component. And I don't know if that's enough steel. Probably not enough steel. So uh, we're keep chunking along. Maybe I'll have to do another cutaway just because we're going to have to mine in order to get this steel, unfortunately. Well, we've got eight minutes left in the video. What do you think? We'll just push on through. You get a feel for how the end of the township by the crag goes and how ruthlessly efficient everybody is we're just kicking ass they're all sleeping now so it's not as ruthlessly efficient as when everyone's awake um and collier is our last remaining prisoner can we put him in a crypto sleep casket or something maybe no no i mean you know we could always take some of his organs just for just for laughs but i don't think so i think i think we'll let him actually you know what I'm feeling generous. Let's go ahead and release him. Collier, you've been... You've been a decent prisoner. You only escaped a few times and got shot up a bunch of times. You got a stab scar in your right arm. That wasn't from us because we used bullets. Um, so we're going to go ahead and release you. It's not going to help our... Uh... <laughs> there he goes. Is he still in restraints? Yeah, we released him and left the leg irons on. You know, because that's how we do. He'll have to get all the way back to the, uh, the owl men. Or it's she. She'll have to get all the way back to the Owlman in order. And let's see. I don't think it works. Minus 91. Let's see if we get a, a little puff of uh, goodness. Nope. Doesn't help us at all. Because they're pirate band and they're a bunch of jerk-offs. So, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Plasteel, that's still rocking and rolling. Uh, the silver's still rocking and rolling. We're doing good. Okay. Let's see. Do we have enough steel now? Our best, our best constructor is Kaniki. And he's making components. Hell no. Oh, I guess he is. Yeah, he's making components because he needs it to put together this Crypto Sleep Casket. Wait, we have two components. You should be good to go. You should be good to go, Kaniki. Cannot. Need materials. Here comes all the steel. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Only got five minutes left on the, on the video. What are you doing to me? Now he's not making components anymore. He's cloud-watching. Uh, where's Pisa? Where's our, where's our man Pisa? He's making kibble. Alright, you... Oh no, I can't. I have to prioritize over here. Because he started that component, so he has to finish it. It's another one of those little stupid things. In this case, I mean, it makes sense for some of the things, like, that have art attached, or, you know, like, if somebody starts a hat, they got to be the one to finish it, because the hat might have a quality uh, multiplier based on who did it. But in the case of components, you just make the components, so it's really stupid that uh, you have to, like, you know, Kaniki has to take care of it. All right, let's see. Do we have enough steel? Come on, buddy. Need materials. All right, looks like Mitch is doing it. Kind of, sort of, not really. Uh, I don't want Mitch to do it, because Mitch, while you're a great cleaner, you're going to stand here and you're going to watch how it's done. Here we go. We're finishing it off. Come on, Kaniki. Let's do it. Let's not fail at constructing, because that can happen, and that's why I don't want Mitch doing it. So, he's going to sit here and watch a master at work. An absolute master. Look at him. He's 18 construction. 
Here he comes. He's got the uranium. Just needs a little components. And Mitch, do some laps, maybe. I don't know. He's going to be mad. He's going to start to break any second now. Whoop. <laughs> Can you clean? No. Nope. All right, here. Watch. Be very careful. This is this is how you do it. Let me, let me put you here where you can get a good look. Look over his shoulder. See how he's turning the wrenches and tightening the bolts? Boom. That's how it's done, Mitch. That's how you do that. All right. So, guys, don't look now, but if I, as long as I counted right, 4, 7, 10, 12, 13, yep, it looks like it is time to take off. So, uh, let's go ahead and start filling this bad boy up. Pearson, enter this sleep casket. Hippo, enter. Bambi, enter. Kim, enter. Pearson is already in. Mitch, enter. Logan, enter. Arthur, enter. Oh man, I'm so excited. What do you guys think? Here it comes. Pisa, enter. Kaniki, you get a B on the end, which is nice. Anna, Madden, our three gun no gun people. All right, let's see. Here it goes. All right, guys. All right, here it is. Perfect. So, uh, we're ready to take off. The time is now. Here we go. All right, so I click on the thing. Show launch report. Ready for launch. Everything's good to go. Hit OK, and where is it? I think it, the engine? Wait, now I'm all messed up. What? Why is it not launching? Ah, oh, there we go. I have to go on the ship computer core to launch a ship. So, it's time for us to say goodbye to Township by the Crag. Of course, all of our elephants and stuff will start, but sooner or later they'll learn and they'll uh, walk away. We let our last prisoner out. Everything else is just going to go to seed and it's going to be leftover scrap for some other uh, RimWorld inhabitants to go. So let's go ahead and launch the ship. Here it goes. Boom! We've launched a ship. These colonists have escaped. Anna N, Madden N, Phil N, Ganuki, Hector, Mitch, Arthur, Pearson, Kim, Bambi, Hippo, Logan, and finally Pisa. Nobody was left behind. So, the AI will guide the ship to a safe place, might be a prosperous planet, or it may be another crappy RimWorld. So, this is the credits, and that, my friends, was RimWorld. And the song is wonderful. I don't know, you might be able to just get the credits right from the uh, main menu there. But uh, So, as you can see, uh, that's how the game is beaten as of like right now. Alpha 17 was uh, this playthrough. I appreciate it very much if you've watched this playthrough. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think this game is a phenomenal game. I think the music is wonderful. I think the uh, art direction is wonderful. Uh, it's... It's such a well put together game. I can't suggest it enough. And as always, there's a link in the uh, video description to the game on Steam. So you can go ahead and pick it up there. And none of my uh, links, or at least for now, I mean, who knows what happens in the future, but none of my links are like affiliate links or anything. This is just a standard link to the actual page on Steam, just so you can go there and find it real quick. And so maybe the video game manufacturers won't be mad at me for uh, playing their game on YouTube. That's really why I put those things up there. So. Uh, there you go. That's RimWorld. We're time to say goodbye to the dorks. They're heading out into the sunset to the stars and Township by the Crag is now an abandoned uh, <laughs> an abandoned ghost town. All right, so uh, I think that's it guys. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.